Alright, hello again everyone, and welcome back for Ratchet and Clank Future Quest for Booty. This game is kind of pointless. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie, I kind of don't see why they made this, but it's not a bad game at all, just <laughs> kind of feels like wasted potential, I guess. I don't know, this is a small downloadable game that takes place in between future Tools of Destruction and A, cl a Crack in Time. And really, it only explains like one thing you need to know for a crack of time, which they kind of tell you in the first five minutes of that game, so... Whatever. We're still going to play it, so... First things first, manual. Probably doesn't even work. <laughs> Normally it doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's just start, actually, let me check my options. <laughs> so we need that on stereo, and turn that up. And everything else should be good. Alright. <laughs> now, I'm probably going to regret this, but... I'm gonna be playing on hard. <laughs> it really is a death wish. I'm gonna turn this up a bit, because it actually is a bit dark in this game. Might be a bit too bright, though. Nah, I think we'll do. I think we'll do with that. Like, this game is... ...something that you probably only play, like, once and then never touch it again. Once upon a time, there was a fearless young Longbax who gained fame and fortune by ridding the galaxy of Emperor Percival Tachyon and Captain Also, I thought I had subtitles on. What a cheap shot, I tell you. Somebody unplugged me controller. But just as peace was restored to Polaris, his first mate was kidnapped by creatures known only as the Zoni. <laughs> Using a powerful computer called Iris, he finally located a clue. An old pirate captain who may possess the key to the Zoni dimension. A pirate named Dark Water. Somewhere. Be careful, Ratchet. Mardi Gras is an unregulated planet. Unwanted visitors have a bad habit of disappearing from here. Alas, poor Captain. No one misses you but but me. <laughs> I miss you too, Rusty Pete. You may not have me body, but you'll always have me heart. <laughs> The crew hates me, Captain. They don't hate you, Pete. They just don't understand ye. Why, you're my top first mate, you. <laughs> Guys, I'm not looking for any trouble. Wait, we're just here to find a pirate. <coughs> Captain Engstrom Darkwater? Darkwater? You hear that, lads? This mangy stowaway seeks the ear of a dead man. How's about we arrange a proper introduction? <laughs> ah! Alright, let's turn the Sylvie's on now. And yeah, it's a good thing you can change the difficulty at any time. This is still when trophies weren't completely a thing in, P in well, on PS3, so better. there's no trophy for beating the game on the highest difficulty, so. <laughs> Actually, let's use these weapons, because of reasons. Ouch. Oh, oh. <laughs> yep, dead already. I don't know, if I feel like it's taking up too much of my time, I'll probably lower it. Yeah, it could have. Ow. <laughs> 
Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> this is the first battle and I'm already dying. Yeah, and for some reason all your weapons start at level 3. I don't know why they didn't just make this like a proper DLC for Tools of Destruction. It would have made a lot more sense. These guys were here. Ah, camera. Boom. Okay, come on. Seriously? There we go. Hmm. Ah, uh, nothing. Could really use some ammo, but oh well. Yeah, no. I'd rather not. I want to upgrade my weapons. Hmm. I really feel like there should be some ammo around here. Oh, whatever. I guess they want me to use the stupid thing. If it wasn't stuck on the door, why is it stuck? There we go. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they didn't just make this a DLC for Tools of Destruction. It would have made a lot more sense because you could have more weapons here and not feel extremely limited. Hmm. 
Jesus. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the moon in the background. All right, lads. To the stones cast tomorrow caverns, and the pythors must be hungry. Avast, ye scurvy swine! Sweet eye of Ozone, it's slag! Scourge <coughs> of Polaris, slay of dark water itself! Righto! <laughs> and I hereby banish this lumbax to Hunafar Island! Where he will get exactly what he's looking for. I, I, I can. You heard him, lads. To hold a fire in one, two. Oh, just fire. Not again. <laughs> and so, the Lombax discovered the little known pirate party foul 21 13, which states. Never interrupt a band of grogged up space pirates simply because you lost your robotic mate and seek the assistance of a dead captain. Ah, <laughs> skip to the part about the curse. Whoa, spoiler alert. We haven't even gotten to Hilda Far Island. Oh, all right. Ratchet? Ratchet? Are you all right? Uh, 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 Clank? Clank, is that you? Clank! Oh, great, we're hallucinating now. Are you okay? <laughs> you swallowed an awful lot of water. Oh, Please. great, now my dog's It'll barking more again. Than a few space pirates to stop me. Come on, let's check out the island. <laughs> let's see. Of course, netting is just a natural barrier that prevents anything at all from passing through. Anything. <laughs> My booster pack can only carry one. Do your grab boots still work? It's a good thing our wrench didn't fall didn't fall in the ocean. Ow. <clears throat> da da da, come on. Clank! Clank, are you out there? Ratchet, you heard that pirate. Darkwater's dead. And there are no Zoni on Murdergras. Rusty Pete tricked us. Hey, he sent us here for a reason. There has to be some kind of connection. Oh, for the love of God. No, I was going to start this like three hours ago, but my dog kept barking. And here's a new feature for this game, the wrench tether. So awesome, we get an entire level dedicated to it. 